Come in, come in. Uh, good morning, Mr. Gummidge. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. I understand you uh, you wanted to see me. Yes, I do, Geoffrey. Lad, uh, take a seat, would yes. you, love? Yes, Mr. Gummy. Now, listen, Geoffrey. Um, you've turned out some very nice words for greetings cards in the past five years that you've been with Gummidges. Thank you very much, Mr. Gummidge. I do try my best. You I know, know you do, Geoffrey. I know you do. Which makes it all the more surprising that you suddenly come up with rubbish like this. Rubbish? What sort of well, rubbish? The sort that? of rubbish that's here on my desk, Geoffrey lad. I mean, listen to this one here. To a Valentine. Roses are red, violets are blue. I bet you look sweet when you're sat on the loo. <laughs> <laughs> it is one of yours, isn't it, Geoffrey? It, it is one of mine, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at um, Valentine cards. No, so well, it's not only the Valentine cards, Geoffrey. I mean, here is a get well soon. Look at this one here. Your illness, dear husband, has made me aware of how our love has lasted. Even though you go to the pub every night and come home three parts plastered. <laughs> it's just not good enough, Geoffrey, is no, it? No, it's not, Mr Gummidge. No, I'm very sorry about Well, it's that, no Mr. good being sorry, Mr Gummidge, is it? I mean, I've got here, I've got here a, a card for a daughter of 18. Now, listen to this. Happy birthday, daughter. You're 18. We think you've turned out swell. You're old enough now to have a fag and a bit of how's your father as well. <laughs> it's, it's hardly the sort of thing that a loving parent would want to send your 18-year-old daughter, is it, Jim? No, Mr. Gummidge, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased with my uh, to a sweetheart card. I've got well, it. let's I'm have a look at it. I've not yet had the benefit. No, Come on, let's have it over please. here. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, you can keep your Debs and your Dolly Birds. You can keep your Punks and your Rockers. Give me someone like you, someone faithful and true, with black leather boots and big... Oh, <laughs> Just fail me, Geoffrey. They just fail me just. <laughs> are you, uh, are you going to give me the sack then, Mr. Gummidge? Well, I can <laughs> see no alternative, yes. can I? No, Unless, no. what is that one in your hand by there? Oh, um, Mr. Gummidge, I, I don't think you'd like this. If you didn't like those, you're certainly not going to like this. Well, give us the benefit. Give us the benefit of the doubt, lad. Read it out to us, please. Oh, all right, Mr. Gummidge. <laughs> Get it open, you to a sweet and gracious lady, so gentle and generous and kind, with a heart of pure gold filled with loving, and a face like a monkey's behind. <laughs> it's, it's fantastic, that one. <laughs> fantastic? Fantastic, it's just what I'm looking for, for the new mother-in-law range. Oh, that's lovely. I shan't have to give you your cards after all. Oh, Here you are. You. <laughs>